And it's terrifying, it's scary, it's stressful, it's depressing to come home to a big blue dumpster. Living in fear, it will happen again. A Greensboro neighborhood is still cleaning up from flood damage in July. And now, WFMI News 2's Ben Smart learned the city is looking at ways to prevent future problems across the Gate City. Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn visited the damaged homes on Ashland Drive after the storm, but neighbors there are still cleaning up and what questions answered after what one resident calls a freakish flood. This is actually happening right now. My door is destroyed. Everything in my basement was essentially destroyed and you know, it's, it's the worst I've ever seen. Floodwaters broke through doors and windows on that stormy July 31st night. When I opened this door, all I saw was water coming through the door. Water was just coming over Wendover Avenue, down the hill, into our yards, and getting higher and higher. Rainwater rising up into several homes on Ashland Drive in Greensboro. The storm lasted less than an hour. But here we are two months later, and I am still empty in my home. Still cleaning up. Keepsakes. Deirdre James and her neighbors are desperate for answers and help from the community. I used to love to come home and see my neighbors and see kids playing, you know, my azalea bushes and things like that. Now I come home and there's a big blue dumpster in my yard and sometimes strangers going through it to get things from my home. James's washer and dryer, HVAC unit and hot water heater all wiped away by the floodwaters. No air, no hot water. It's like you're living, like I said, an episode of Survivor. What's most concerning, these Ashland Drive neighbors do not live in a 100 or 500 year floodplain, so they did not have flood insurance. And all of this has to be paid for out of pocket. While cleanup continues, these neighbors fear the next flood unless something is done. We were spared this time, but no one knows what's going to happen unless we get some answers soon. You might be wondering, it's not just that area of town. The mayor says they're working on multiple areas that flooded this summer. We've reached out to Greensboro City Management today to learn more and we're waiting to hear back.